Hey, good morning everyone, or good afternoon, uh, depending on which class you're in. Sorry that I'm gone today. I've got a sick kid at home, and honestly, I'm not feeling great either. Uh, I'm doing this uh, after school, or after PD on uh, Tuesday. So, I will wipe everything down before I leave here, uh, before I go home. Uh, anyway, uh, sorry I'm not here. Uh, today, I've got a little activity for you. Uh, this is going to be the first of a multi-day project. Um, I'm going to use white one as my example class. So if you're in white one, you're in luck. Uh, I'll be talking about your class specifically, but for white three and white five, um, it's the same process. Okay, it's uh, you'll just go to a different class names uh, on the uh, Excel spreadsheet will look different. Uh, it'll have your name on it, but. It's the same process. So, uh, here's what you're going to do today. You're going to need your Chromebook. We're going to be looking at how the Big Bang Theory uh, came to be, and how it has changed and evolved over time. Uh, scientific ideas do change over time, and we've seen this happening with COVID, uh, with the ideas and the, the the preventative measures and and all the whole the whole thing everything's changing all the time and science is constantly evolving and science is constantly changing and the big bang theory uh, has been doing the same thing so uh, that's what we're going to be looking at uh, for the next couple of days we'll be talking about the big bang theory uh, and going through the, the the how the big bang how we think it happened um, while also going through how our understanding uh, has changed over time. So uh, that's a quick little overview. Overview. You are going to need your Chromebook today, uh, so make sure you have that. Uh, you might be watching this on your Chromebook. Uh, and if that's the case, uh, good job. You've got it. If not, uh, make sure you get that out. You'll need it today. Okay. All right, first thing you're going to do, you're going to go to Schoology. This is where I am at right now, and you're going to go to your course. Uh, I'm going to like I said, use white one as an example. You'll go to your course, uh, and then you're going to go to the purple folder, and in the purple folder, you'll find a red folder, and you'll go to the red folder. Um, this is where you'll find everything you need today, with the exception of your handout. And uh, I'm not sure, I don't use this screencastify often enough, but your handout looks like this. Uh, I'm hoping that you can see me here. I'll just pull it up on the screen. Uh, I've got it pulled up right here. It looks like this. You're going to do it on paper. I've got paper. I'll have a stack of papers on the desk by the door when you come in. Uh, for now, just grab the one sheet, the Changing Views Timeline. You're going to need the Changing Views Timeline. Okay, That's the only one that you'll need for now. All right. It looks just like this one on your screen. Uh, and this is part of the Big History Project. And this is, uh, well, I've talked about it plenty. So, uh, Changing Views Timeline. Uh, as you uh, look through your paper, as I scroll through this, you'll see the purpose of this. In this activity, you'll read about different scientists' views of the universe and then place key information on a timeline. The goal of this, the aim of this, is to get better using timelines as a tool uh, to help you understand changes in thinking over time. That's part of it. I also, these are big name people in the theory of the Big Bang. Ptolemy, Galileo. Uh, Copernicus, Newton, uh, Levitt, and Hubble. These are big name scientists. These are people who are very important in our understanding of the universe, and these are people that uh, I think are important to study. When we're talking about the Big Bang Theory, you can't talk about the Big Bang Theory uh, without talking about these people. Okay, So, we are going to create a timeline. Flip your paper over to the back side and you'll see a timeline. And it looks like this, this right here, okay? Uh, flip your paper over, look at this, and this is your timeline here. You're going to create a timeline that represents how each of these six scientists uh, understand uh, the Earth, the solar system, and the universe. So uh, we're going to do this in class, and this will be something that we work on a couple of different times, uh, but today will be your first day, okay? Uh, if you read the process, uh, the directions on the other side of the worksheet, it says over the year you'll add to your timeline as you come across important events. Uh, don't hold your breath on that one. I may or may not continue that uh, throughout. I think it's a good idea. Um, we'll see how that goes, okay? But you'll definitely be using it today, and you'll be using it again next class period. Your class will be divided into three groups, okay? This is where I need you to pay attention because I've already divided you into three groups. Uh, your sub, who I'm not sure who it is yet, but your sub will be able to show you this again after this video is over. But here's white one. 
uh, here is the groups, okay? Here are the groups, I should say. Group one, group two, group three. Uh, I know this makes it seem like a group project, but for today, this is not a group project. I'm dividing you into three groups to study these six different scientists. You are each going to study two. This is not a group project for today, <clears throat> okay? It will become a group project, but for today, this is uh, solo work, all right? So you're going to look at this, and you are going to uh, find your name, and you are going to uh, look and see who your two scientists are. Group one is Tolem uh, Ptolemy and Copernicus. Group two is Galileo and Newton. And group three is Hubble and Levitt. If you get confused and you forget which one you are, uh, ask the sub because this will be available and you can look. But find you now. Find where you are on here. And uh, then go to... Uh, your front sheet of the paper and circle group A, B, or C under process. That's how you should do this. So A, B, or C, uh, circle your group. Uh, for white 3 and white 5, you will have to do this after um, my video here. Okay. So circle your group. Make sure you write it down somewhere. Group 1, group 2, group 3. And if you forget which two scientists you're doing, it's on the front paper under process. Okay. All right. So now that you know your group, uh, you are going to go to Schoology, and you're going to find your two scientists, and you're going to open them up. For example, I'm just going to go through one of these. I'm going to click on uh, Levitt, Henrietta Levitt, okay? I, like, I don't like doing this in Schoology, so I'm going to click on this link here, uh, which is going to open it up in a new tab. That's what I prefer. All right. Here it is. Here's the article. You're going to read this article. Remember, you're doing two different scientists, but this is the first one. You're going to read the article, and you're going to pull out some important information. Uh, you're going to pull out birth date and death date. Uh, conveniently, here in this big red box. Birth date and death date of this scientist. All right, so she was born in 1868, died in 1921. Uh, the major contributions they make. Well, this one's not quite so easy. The major contributions that they make to the theory uh, of our understanding of the universe uh, can be found in the article that is down below. And I know this seems like a lot of reading. It's really not that much reading. Uh, read it. Pay attention to the timeline, which is here. Read it. Pull out the major contributions. Make a list of them on your sheet. Uh, and then your last thing that you're going to pull out is who or what influenced their thinking. This is going to have to be some... Uh, uh, kind of abstract thought. Who or what influenced their thinking? Okay. Who or what influenced what they did, their work? What were their contributions? And who or what influenced those contributions? Okay. So there's three things you're going to pull out. All right. And these are on your uh, worksheet. Okay. Let me pull up your worksheet again real quick. These are on the worksheet and they can be found right here. Birth and death dates of scientists. The major contributions they made and who or what influenced their thinking. You're going to do this for both of your scientists, and you're going to plot them on this timeline. Uh, for example, Henrietta Leavitt was born in 1868. Okay, 1868. That's when she was born. So come on over here, find 1868, and plot that she was born there, and then she died in, oh, I forget now, 1921, I think is what it was. Yeah, 1921. So then she would have died somewhere in here. So you will plot that stuff and just on this sheet of paper, write the other information, birth and death dates, uh, major contributions, and who or what influenced their thinking, okay? That's step one. Once you've done both of your scientists and you've plotted them both on this timeline, uh, the next step is going to be uh, writing a short paragraph. And you can do this on this piece of paper. Uh, in fact, I'd prefer if you just do it on this piece of paper. If you need room, if you need more space, I've got a stapler. Uh, I've got uh, a couple of staplers around the room. Find a stapler, staple a piece of paper in the back, and you'll be good to go. But this next step is you are going to think about how these scientists, uh, how one scientist kind of influenced the next. Science is never a solo project. All right? And you're doing this by yourself now, but you will see it's, it's never a solo project. Isaac Newton, Sir Isaac Newton has a great, great quote. Uh, and I'm going to paraphrase it so I don't mess it up. So this is not an exact quote, probably. Uh, he says something to the effect of, if I have seen farther than anyone else, it's because I stand on the backs of giants. Oh, that's powerful. 
Isaac Newton couldn't have done what Isaac Newton did if Galileo hadn't done what Galileo did. And Galileo couldn't have done what he did if Copernicus didn't do what he did. And Copernicus couldn't do what he did unless Ptolemy did what he did. And Ptolemy learned from someone else. And science has been progressing through history. All right, science is a, a linear uh, like group project. All right, it's a social project. We're going to continue that in here. So read the articles. You've got two of them. Uh, plot your stuff on the timeline, birth date, death date, uh, major contributions, and who and what influenced them, and then write a small story arc. It doesn't have to be really long, maybe a paragraph, maybe two, uh, about how one scientist has influenced the next. All right. When you're done with that, I would like you to uh, keep this. Keep this until next class period. All right. When you're done with this, if you get done before everybody else, hang tight. And uh, your sub will find, uh, or will will tell you what the next uh, part of your project is. So, guys, I hope you have a great day. Um, if you have questions, email me. I'll be around. I'll try to check my email at least a couple times per block. If you do have questions, um, but you'll need this. Oh, the other thing I wanted to tell you: if for some reason you don't have your Chromebook, uh, or if for some reason uh, you don't like reading on your Chromebook and you'd like a paper copy. I have printed out and I have them in stacks the readings from the six different scientists. They're on the table over by the door. I say that uh, if you don't necessarily need one, don't take one. I'm not printing off enough for everybody to have one. If you do take one, please put it back and make sure it goes back in the right pile. Uh, I've printed off enough for a, a class copy uh, in case we need one, in case somebody forgot the Chromebook or whatever, but uh, I'm not printing off because they're kind of long. I don't want to waste uh, hundreds of sheets of paper if nobody's going to use them. So I didn't print off one for everybody. If you need one, they're there. I'll make sure there's enough. Um, but everything should be on your company, okay? Except for this sheet. This sheet's important to this uh, timeline, the actual timeline handout, uh, which is not on Schoology. Have a great day. Email me if you have questions. Email me if you have problems. Uh, and I will see you next week. Bye, guys.